We have limited time in our life, therefore we should try to teach ourselves, not to teach others. We should conquer ourselves, rather than conquer others. Whether coming or going, standing, sitting or lying down. Our mind should be focused in this way. If we practice like this and develop mindfulness continuously, wisdom arises quickly and this is a fast way of practice. We practice to learn how to let go, not how to increase our holding on to things. Enlightenment appears when you stop wanting anything, looking for pieces like looking for a turtle with a mustache, you won't be able to find it. But when your heart is ready, peace will come looking for you. If you let go a little you will have a little happiness. If you let go a lot you will have a lot of happiness. If you let go completely you will be free. You are your own teacher. Looking for teachers can't solve your own doubts. Investigate yourself to find the truth, inside, not outside. Knowing yourself is most important. Anything which is troubling you, anything which is irritating you, that is your teacher. To observe and watch one's own mind is something really interesting. The untrained mind will run and follow its old habit patterns. Because it has not been trained and taught, it will get lost in all kinds of stories and issues, therefore we have to train our mind. The meditation practice in Buddhism is all about training one's own mind. The forest is peaceful, why aren't you? You hold on to things causing your confusion. Let nature teach you. Hear the bird's song then let go. If you know nature, you'll know truth. If you know truth, you'll know nature. Things are simply the way they are. They don't give us suffering. Like a thorn, does a sharp thorn give us suffering? No. It's simply a thorn. It doesn't give suffering to anybody. If we step on it, we suffer immediately. Why do we suffer? Because we stepped on it. So the suffering comes from us. Try to be mindful, and let things take their natural course. Then your mind will become still in any surroundings, like a clear forest pool. All kinds of wonderful, rare animals will come to drink at the pool. And you will clearly see the nature of all things. You will see many strange and wonderful things come and go, but you will be still. This is the happiness of the Buddha. Whenever we feel that we are definitely right, so much so that we refuse to open up to anything or anybody else, right there we are wrong. It becomes wrong view. When suffering arises, where does it arise from? The cause is wrong view. The fruit of that being suffering. If it was right view it wouldn't cause suffering. Happiness and suffering do not depend on being poor or rich, they depend on having the right or wrong understanding in our mind. Peace is within oneself to be found in the same place as agitation and suffering. It is not found in a forest or on a hilltop, nor is it given by a teacher. Where you experience suffering, you can also find freedom from suffering. Trying to run away from suffering is actually to run toward it. If your mind is happy then you are happy anywhere you go. When wisdom awakens within you, you will see truth wherever you look. Truth is all there is. It's like when you learned how to read, you can then read anywhere you go.